the sourness is there. Mm. So I love intense. sour as well. But yeah, and it really is. Really is. It's and great. You, and the acidity make your mouth watery. Yeah, that's it. My, my mouth is pouring right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Right, oh, yeah. Gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very nice. I mean, I... It's so different for a bit. It's so different. Oh, and that... Mm, mm, mm. It makes you shiver. Mm. <laughs> it does. It does. It really does. It's just like... Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It is something really special, this, I think, though. That is... That is, this is something that I'm quite sure I can make anyone in the world drink and believe is not a beer. Mm. Quite easily. Quite easily. Yeah, if you ask because I'm professional hold as well. <coughs> You're not sure. Cheers all. It's closer to a non-alcoholic drink than an alcoholic drink. It, 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 it has the strong and taste. Is 8%. Yeah, 8%. It has a strong taste to it, don't get me wrong, and it's a strong sour taste, but if you were poured a glass of this and took a sip, I think your initial reaction would be like a schlur or an apple ties, but a, a cherry ties. Yeah. You wouldn't Rather necessarily than think, uh, you would never in a million years get, get that that was a beer straight away, unless you were a very good like, uh, unless you knew your beers, basically. Well, I would have and said probably, oh, it's a lambic. Mm. You probably would say it now. I mean, you tried enough. Mm. But for someone that tried for the first time. No. You know what? I struggle to speak because my mouth is watery. Yeah, so <laughs> it my, really is. Honestly, it's, it's quite funny. It is so oh, different. I can't describe lovely. how different it is. It's, yeah. it's something else. It really is. Uh, I... Mm. You get the aftertaste of cherry drops. You get the intense sourness. I mean, on the mouth, on the on, on the palate. Sorry, when I first take a mouthful, that first, oh, <laughs> it just hits you. That sourness is immense. You, you know what? Everything that uh, you get from this beer for me is like a a wrestling match. <laughs> yeah. You know when everything is going, I mean the guy is flying at three meters, this acidity is very high, the sourness mm. is extremely high, mm. the only thing that is very subtle and balanced is the, is the fruit in it. Yeah. It's good, I like it, man. I really like it. Love it. Mm. Brilliant. Such an experience, so different an experience for a beer. And I just I just can't believe there are beers like this out here, out, out in the world. Well, 40% of Cricken that I believe that is that cherry. Mm. So, and obviously we, I don't think we've, we've mentioned the, the brewery. The brewery is in uh, Lambic and is Bonn Brewery. Lambic? Lambic? Yeah. Well, so it's a place as well as a type of beer? Well, the, 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 the Lambic, the name comes from a place that is called the Lambic in Belgium, in Belgium. That actually, if anyone fancy to go on my blog, they're going to find uh, me traveling around the Peyote land or um, been to Lambic. And it's actually a very nice place. I cannot wait to go there with John. Now, before I'm going to close this, I'm going to ask John to try something for me. And I've got something to try with this. Let's see if he's going to... Well... Let's try this with a bit of white chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. You know, it's sure. I'm a sucker with chocolate. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love chocolate. Oh. Mmm. I'm landing. Mmm. That brings the fruitiness right out. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. That is amazing. Like that, that really sharp. This is gone completely. So and now it's just not, getting the fruitiness. Yeah, it's not sour anymore. No, <laughs> it's, it's soul fruit. Mm. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm. Really good. Mm. Whoa. That's amazing. <laughs> that is really good. And you see. You, you haven't mentioned anything about hop and the... And the no, nothing. Because there isn't no smell or taste of hoppiness. It is what 
what it tends to do. Sour, fruity, greatness. Okay, with the lambic, they tend to use hop in a different way than in normal beer. So they use very old hop. So that they haven't got any more the characteristic of hop that we normally get in England. So that grapefruitness, mm. they actually become very cheesy. So hop, I've got some hop um, saved there and I, kept, and I kept it for a long time. And it tends to smell like cheese. If you don't say to someone, what is it? Mm. And you ask them, what do you think this is with your eyes closed? Most of the people say cheese. Mm. And that is what they do with the Lambic. They tend to use um, hop that is pretty old so that it doesn't influence the beer. Mm. And you can see that here there is nothing, mm. none of the characteristics that we are using in England. No. Nothing at all. I've, I've, as, as I said before, I've never, never tried any sort of beers that you would associate to be this sort of taste and sensation in your mouth and mm. the sharpness, the bit, uh, the um, sourness of it. Sourness of a beer. Yeah, I love it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I love it. And then with that white chocolate, that went superbly. That was something else. Guys. After the, on the third sip, I got an intense... Uh, an intense sharpness for it, but the fruitiness comes through so much with that chocolate. You've got Amazing. to try Lambic. Go for Boone, Cantillon, uh, mm -hmm. there are uh, many of them, or eventually, if Marriage you want. Marriage Yeah, try and that, to... is an, that is a, an experience you would not regret. Yeah, at least to try something different. Right? Damn right. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao. ciao. ciao.